Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a crosscut sled for your sliding compound miter saw. What the f*** did he just say? A crosscut sled for a compound miter saw? Okay, not literally a sled for your miter saw, but today we're going to build an insert for your sliding compound miter saw that will do very much the same thing and give you the same quality cuts that you would get using a crosscut sled on your table saw. This is a really easy project and a really great addition to your miter saw. So with that, let's get to it. Okay, now if you thought that was cool, it gets cooler. What about 45 degrees? What about miter cuts? Well, there's a solution for that as well. So in this case, I simply moved the sled from the center where it was 
to another spot, very much like a miter box with a handheld saw and create another kerf going this way and I'll do the same on the other side. So that's pretty much it. That It can't be really any more straightforward than this. It's a really easy insert to realign if I'm doing miter cuts. Again, you just line up with the kerf and you're set. So really, I can't be happier with the way this has turned out. I might even add a couple of more dog holes. The holes that I've uh, drilled into this are purely experimental. Uh, you don't have to do this. For shorter boards, it'll be easy to clamp down either on the off of the edge on the ends here or through one of the dog holes. Now there's no more teetering boards, uh, especially the shorter ones that don't quite reach the extension wings. Uh, when I'm processing longer boards, this is going to be even easier. For the extension wings, I've already adjusted the height. So now when I'm cutting, it's level with my tabletop. So the extension wings will work with this whole setup. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So when I'm processing longer boards, again, it's going to give me a lot more stability. It's going to just be a smoother process and definitely this is giving me a smoother cut than what I was getting before. You can see this is a simple build just a rabbit joint at the back, glue it in, screw it in. One thing I will mention is make sure that if once the glue is set that you remove some of the screws if they are in the way of where you're putting your kerf. Do not run your blade into the screws. Be very careful with that. So always check before you run your blade into this tabletop. The most important thing though um, with this setup is that it works best with a sliding compound miter saw and the reason why is because the sliding compound miter saws all come with this depth stop feature. So I, I've already added a little ring here. I've added a piece of hardware. This is just a miscellaneous uh, blind clip from uh, a set of blinds. It was just an easy piece to actually fold over but this is the default, okay, so that's the blade going all the way down and this screw will just go through the hole. So I've got the tab permanently engaged and then I just lock it in place using this little piece of hardware so this isn't going to slide over. So now this goes to a depth just below, about a sixteenth of an inch below the surface of my tabletop and that's as far as it goes which is exactly what I want and that is what produces the cleaner cut when I'm cutting on this miter saw now. So the reason why I kind of called it a cross cut sled for a miter saw in the beginning is because it sort of does a lot of the same thing and it's a much safer way to produce cross cuts than going over to the table saw and when you can avoid using the table saw you absolutely should. And that concludes making a cross cut insert for your sliding compound miter saw. In the end, I'll just call it a cross cut insert. Since the saw is made for cross cutting anyway, this just simply enhances what it already does. If you would like to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.